Hey everyone, Teo here. Today I'm reviewing the SenseTech Shortcuts Companion SC02 that's designed for visual content creators using iPads and Apple computers running M1 or M2 or newer processors. First of all, a disclaimer, this is a review unit provided by the company and the price for this is US $79, not inclusive of shipping. And inside the box, you will get this remote, a carrying case, and this is how the box looks connection and wireless pairing is through bluetooth 5.1 and this only works with ipad os the battery life for this remote is not mentioned but battery life shouldn't be a problem because this is powered by one triple a battery which can be replaced very easily this design looks all right the build quality feels slightly plasticky because everything is made of plastic but it's solid enough and it's lightweight there are five hotkeys and a wheel, and this wheel has a click as well. So in total, you get six hotkeys in front. Shortcut groups can be created for specific apps, up to four apps, and the power button can be used to switch between the different groups of shortcuts. So six hotkeys on the front feels limited, which is why the company also has modifier keys on top to give you access to more hotkeys. This is Q Shift 1 and this is Q Shift 2. So when you press Shift 1, all the hotkeys here will have different shortcuts. So in total, you will get 6 plus 6. And if you press Q Shift 2, you get another 6 shortcuts. So that's a total of now 18 shortcuts. And you can press these two in combination to get another 6 shortcuts. So you can get 6 times 4 shortcuts. So that's a total of 24 shortcuts. The companion app is required for customizing the hotkeys and the customization is quite straightforward. The macOS driver has the same user interface and if you're using macOS, chances are you're drawing on a pen tablet or a pen display. If you look here, you can see several apps listed. Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, Lightroom, Fresco, Adobe Premiere Rush, Procreate, Midibank Paint, Ibis Paint X, DaVinci Resolve, Toon Squid, Sharp 3D, Calipac. Yep, so those are the apps that are supported by this driver. The supported apps have shortcuts already pre programmed for you. So all you have to do to customize the hotkeys is to drag the shortcut here onto the hotkey. So this is pretty straightforward. So remember the modifier keys. So if you want to set the group of shortcuts for Shift 1, just tap here, Shift 1, and same thing, just drag the shortcut onto the hotkey. So you do that for Shift 1, Shift 2, and Shift 1, and Shift 2. You can create up to four groups of shortcuts for four different apps that you use, and you can tap here to rename the app if you use an app that is not listed here you can customize keyboard shortcuts for that app as well for example if you are using clip studio paint which is not included here you can create a profile or a group of shortcuts for csp just tap here and rename the app to csp okay and now just tap here for this hotkey. Here you can choose any combination of modifier keys and you can tap here to call up the virtual keyboard to enter whichever key you want. And you can customize up to 24 keyboard shortcuts with the help of the hotkeys and the modifier keys. So once you're done, you can just save and this will sync the shortcuts to the remote. All right, let's see how the remote actually works in practice. To switch between the groups of keyboard shortcuts, you don't have to use the driver anymore. You can actually just use the power button here. So I'm going to switch to blue, which is the group of shortcuts that I've created for Procreate. I have set the top left button to show the color palette, and this button below will show the brush. This is eraser. This is undo, and this is the eyedropper. So I'm going to use the brush and choose this color to draw something oops let me just undo yeah so if i need to erase 
I can press this button here to go into the eraser mode to erase that go back to the brush to draw again and if I want to color I can call up the color palette to choose a color of course to assess the color palette you can always use your apple pencil or your finger but when you have this remote you can just press this button choose a color and get back to drawing very quickly so this is actually quite productive if you make any mistakes that you need to undo you can use your finger you can switch from drawing mode to the undo mode using the two fingers to undo or in this case since i have the remote i can just press the key and that will undo and i can get back to drawing really quickly so there is no interruption with the workflow the drawing workflow the wheel has been set to adjust the brush size and this works well so with these six hotkeys i only have six shortcuts to get more shortcuts i'm going to use this shift key here so this remember is the color palette but if i press the shift plus this key now it calls up this quick manual and if I press this key here, it calls up the action manual. And this is actually the brush palette if I don't press the shift key. Because the remote is not that wide, I can reach all the hotkeys very easily with my thumb. Since there are only six hotkeys here, I can only get six shortcuts. So to get more shortcuts, I will need to use the shift or modifier keys at the top. So remember this button is set to color palette and this one is set to brush so if I press the shift key on top and press this I've customized this to show the quick manual and this to show the actions manual this remote is designed to be held in hand which is to say that if you're holding this you won't be able to hold your tablet your iPad so if you want to prop this tablet up you will have to use a tablet stand so any downsides for me, the main one is having to get used to holding down the shift keys to get access to more shortcuts. The only glitch I have discovered so far is with Procreate's clear layer shortcut. So I have set that shortcut to shift and this button and when I press it, nothing happens. So to clear the layer, I have to use finger gestures instead. Since there are so many shortcuts, I cannot test them one by one. So I cannot tell you whether all are working. Anyway, even if some of them are not working, these are software or driver issues which can be fixed very easily. So how does this shortcut remote compare to those Procreate keyboard shortcut remotes? Well, those shortcut remotes are designed specifically for use with Procreate, whereas for this one, you can configure this to use with Procreate as well as other apps. So is this worth the money? Well, you can decide based on the findings I have presented. It does work quite well. And if you are interested to get this, you can check out the purchase link that I have for you in the video description below. Thanks for watching. See you guys again. Bye.